Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. We have just hit the Grampians Victoria. So this will be a whole tour of the Grampians. I've been filming a fishing video at the same time since we hit Victoria. I cannot catch a fish for the life of me. I've got one little red fin. So this freshwater fishing video is taking weeks. So chuck this one in the middle. Have a look at this. Woo, fuck. Right now we're up the top of Hollow Cove Summit in the Grampians. I cracked my head open on the way up here. All got it on record, so that'll be funny. Got blood all over me, got a headache. Alicia reckons the cut's not that bad, but bloody hurts. But anyway, welcome to another video of free roaming Australia. This is what it's all about. I'm puffed out. Day one of the Grampians. Mount Hollow or something. Halfway there. This is dangerous. Look at where we have to climb up. We were just on the edge of the cliff. Oh, <laughs> oh the tree there. Oh, bleeding. Oh. Just fucking head butt of that tree. Now I'm cracked open. Stop playing with it. I'm trying to find if it needs stitches or not. Just cracked my head open on that fucking tree. But we made it. We're in between this cave and right this gully. My head hurts. I've got blood everywhere. <sighs> what a joke. You'll see the video. I head butted one of the points out on that tree. You come through here, boom, crazy. Now the rain's coming in, we've had to shelter in this cave. Hopefully the rocks don't get any more slippery because we are on the top of the world. I don't know if I have to go clean it or not. Yeah, but look at this. Hollow Mountain Summit. <sighs> All right, you may be asking, how'd you crack your head? Get in here. It's either that one, that one, or that one. I went like this, step up, boom. You'll see the video. One of them went through my fucking head. But we're just making our way down from Hollow Cove. Ah, oh, that was actually a pretty hard hike. Like you wouldn't expect that. It's pretty dangerous, to be honest. For us backyarders, it's pretty crazy. And then when you crack your head halfway up, it doesn't help. But there's another one just to the left, which has some Aboriginal art, which is just insane. It's like young handprints of young Aboriginal and young Indigenous on the on the rock wall where they used to camp. Stuff like that is just unbelievable. Ah. Ah. Sorry. Oh, yutsy. Okay, let's have a look here. We're in a camper van or a full drive? We're just getting to our first camp for the night. We're going to free camp, but I need to have a shower and rinse this blood off. So we found a campsite with a shower. But the roads are not very van friendly, so we're just sitting on like 20k an hour. And the roof box on the roof is already broken. So we're just driving to conditions now. Go on the sand a bit. The sand's a bit softer. 
campsite number one. Got some friends living with us. The only showers they have at these sites are bucket showers, so Wiki Camps lied to us, but I'm gonna rinse my blood out of my hair with this, through the sink. It'll take ages for that blood to come loose. All the blood in that sink. Ooh. Make sure you get that top one too. Good morning, day two. Just made our percolated coffees and we're about to go hike just up this little trash here to see some more Aboriginal painting. So Concrete roads are a bit better and a bit more uh, better on the van than those corrugated dirt roads, so I'm happy with this. We're on our way to this waterfall called Beehive Falls, and we've had to dodge like 15 kangaroos in like 20 minutes. So we're just having to drive a bit more careful because they're all sitting on the side of the road, and they're like, they've got to be one of the most stupidest animals. They see you and they just jump out in front of you. Like you'd think they'd be like, alright, oh, I'm going to go that way, but no. Nah. So oh, that's a good looking ball bar, let's have a taste. Oh, who made the hike this long at this time of the morning? Well, the water's flowing. Last bit of the walk. It's all rocks. Woo! Beehive Falls. And this isn't even on the to-do list in anyone's travel guide. Which means this isn't even, apparently, any good. I beg to differ. It'd be rude not to stop over and have some bacon and eggs. That's one thing we've noticed about Victoria. The weather's so weird. Sometimes the sun's out and you're hot, and then the next minute it's raining or misting. But look at this place. It's amazing. We're just cooking up bacon and eggs for breakfast, and we can hear a river in the background. Have a look at this. Fuck, I'd love to swim in there. If only it was a little bit hotter, but I'm so tempted to go for a cold plunge. We haven't showered for a couple of days. <laughs> Have a look at this. Oh. We're heading down to Mackenzie Falls, and then we're going to head back up and go to Mackenzie Falls Lookout. And this is one of the best tourist locations in the Grand Pins, apparently. This is why everyone comes here. So we're about to find out. This is absolutely fantastic. It's full footpath and stuff. This this trail goes all the way to that car park, that picnic area we just ate breakfast in. You can walk, I think it's like 3.8 k's, and it just follows these tracks the whole way up to the Mackenzie Falls. And I think there's probably like seven waterfalls the whole way through. So there's one that goes through here, and then there's another waterfall, and there's another one up here. Look at these rocks. Oh, 
Jumpers have come off. Oh, it's all uphill from here. All right, it's that time again. Lake War Talk, the Grampians. I've got to continue with this fishing video, freshwater fishing. How can you fish in a place like this with a brand new spinner and not get a fish? I'm actually defeated with this freshwater fishing, eh? Soft plastic, spinners, worms, nothing. Can't get nothing. Full defeated, eh? The balconies. 760 meters. How often do you have a view like that? Oh, we just had a fat feed at the bakery. Sausage roll, best bakery so far in Australia. If you're not following along on TikTok, I'm going around to all the bakeries and doing reviews. Halls Gap Sausage Roll, oh, best so far. Now we're just going to Venus Pools. There's all the way down to the bottom, there's all little rock pools. Another day, another shot at the fish. Lake Belfield, Grampians. You watch me get nothing here too. Actually, no, I don't want to jinx myself. Come on, you're gonna get a fish. How can you not get a fish here? Look at this. How can you not get a fish here? Wow. I'm going to stand under that. Somehow the water is getting under everything and coming out of here and flowing into the riverbed. Just have a look at this. Everything's dry. The water isn't getting through somehow getting under. Just finished up at Silver Band Falls. I would definitely put that on the to-do list. You can pretty much stand right under it. If it wasn't cold, I would have showered in it. And there's like a hollowed out tree, which you'll see. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Falls Gap is absolutely divine. We're just going for a walk, waiting for our booking for dinner. And this is the view. Seriously. Kangaroos everywhere, emus, sheep, picosts, duck doos, the whole shebaz. Have a look at this campsite. We've got a long drop out the back over there, a nice bucket grass. shower. We're on this nice grass with a creek running beside us. And it's just like loaded with people. Everyone's just living the dream, got their fires going. And we're right on this nice grass patch. They want bucks a night. 46 bucks a night for an unpowered Look site when you can get places like this. With toilets and a bucket shower. For free. Only like, what, 10 minutes out of town. Mm. But mind you, the caravan parks are amazing. All right, it's a bit wet today. Nothing's stopping us. We're heading to the Grand Canyon. And then there's a tour from the Grand Canyon that heads towards the Pinnacle, 2.1 kilometers. 
I actually like it when it's raining a little bit like this and there's just clouds hovering through the hills. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. <laughs> All right, Grand Canyon. Between these cliffs. Nothing does it justice. Nothing does anything justice. Look at this. Insane. This is where it gets the name Grand Canyon. You're in the middle of it. Have a look at this place. <laughs> Unbelievable. Glory to God, all right. Glory to God. Look at that. Whoa. This is insane. Whoa. gas and once again we forgot a drink bottle <sighs> there could be worse places to stop for a rest <sighs> where's the water bottle at that's nice You're not getting sick from that. We're at the top of the mountain, so no one's pissed it high enough. <laughs> Just had a fucking shower in the waterfall and had a drink. I'm the test dummy. Is the Grandpin's water drinkable? I had a fair bit of it. <sighs> Soon find out. This place just keeps on giving. And now I'm too puffed to enjoy. This is called Silent Street. Silent Street. How about Elevator Street? Insane. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Made it. It's too foggy to see. Top of the world. Way down is actually just as hard because it hurts your toes. Your toes smash into your front of your boots. Whoever made them had more energy than me. I can tell you that for free. Look at the van, all lonely. And we are halfway down. Or over halfway, actually. Oh. We did it. That was hectic. Oh, we did it. All right, we're back down on soil. Going to support another local cafe and have a beer. Just out here filling up the tanks. Kangaroos absolutely everywhere. And then we'll have a warm outdoor shower tonight. Fucking love it. Hopefully we can get the same campsite we had two nights ago. It's amazing. Alright guys, that is a wrap of the Grampians Victoria. 
we've had a bloody good time. We've burned a lot of calories, um, cracked me head in two spots, almost died, almost had to get flown out with by a helicopter. But no, this place is amazing. Three camps, five minutes from town. How many calories you burn? How many steps have we done? I think we've done 17,000 17, in one day and we've been here for four days. So I'd say about 50,000 steps in four or five days. It's absolutely amazing. Look at the hills in the background and you've just got this luscious green forest. That's it. Grampians, done and dusted. See you in the next video. Bit sketchy here between the trees. Oh, you up, see? This van is like a full drive. Look at the tracks we take it on. I think the weight of it actually helps in some circumstances, and then other times it's probably going to be bad. To come back into Hall's Gap for one more sausage roll. <laughs> if you aren't tuning in on my TikTok series of the best bakeries in Australia, go have a look. This is why we love this place. Look. And then on the other side, look, it's just. Oh, it's crazy. Anyway, I'm going to stop obsessing. Still got the rest of Australia to see.